Hi, this is Darby at Thimbleberry Studios with video number four in my series, Printmaking Process, in which I'm taking you along for the ride as I create my next print, which is a tufted puffins. Today's video is about preparing the block. Now, if you've seen my work, you know I like it colorful. And there are a number of ways to create prints with more than one color. Of course, the kind of printmaking you choose determines those options. These days, I'm mainly creating relief prints which means I carve into a block and print off that block. The carving creates higher and lower levels. So when I roll ink on the block, hopefully the ink is only going on the high part and that's the only part that gets printed. For a block, you can use all kinds of things. Here's some possible substrates. These days I tend to use either Gomuban or Battleship Gray Linoleum. Battleship Gray Linoleum is what I use for my Thresh and Thimbleberry print, which you see here. It's got two colors. And for this print I, print, I carved out two blocks. One block is for the blue, which I printed here. And then on the same paper, you can see me printing the second block, which just prints the red. This is called multi-block printmaking. And I'm sure you can guess one of the big advantages of this is that I can go back and I can print the blue and the red or other colors on those same blocks as many times as I want, because I've always got those blocks. Once I've carved those blocks, they stay looking like that for the most part. This is very different from reduction printmaking, which is a little bit more challenging, but I actually really like reduction printmaking. With this, you just have one block that you continually reduce or carve into. So for example, I use reduction printmaking when I made my print hover, which you see on the right. That's got four colors. I didn't have four blocks. I just had the block that you see on the left. And this is what the block looked like at the end when I printed the last color, which was the dark blue. First, I had to carve out everything that I wanted to remain white. And that's what looks like black here. And then I rolled my blank blue onto this block. And that printed then on the paper, just the things that I wanted to be light blue. And then I carved some more to then uh, get a medium blue, so, and then to get the rust. And here I am carving out everything that I want, every place that I want the rust to remain. And only thing that's gonna remain on this block is are the places where I want dark blue. So as you can see on the left, I could go back, I've still got the two blocks that I need for Thimbleberry and Thrush, I can print that as many times as I want on different papers, but I can never go back and print Hover again because I've destroyed the block or reduced it. I'm going to use reduction printmaking when I make my next print, the Tufted Puffin print. And here I'm going to show you how I get my block ready. I'm going to use Gomoban again because I really like the crisp lines I get when I carve in that. And here I'm, carve, I'm cutting it down to the 8 by 10 size of the image make sure that I've got it right. And then I always glue my blocks onto wood. And I'll explain more about that in my next video. It has to do with my registration system, as it's called. I have to be sure to cover the whole block with, with glue everywhere. And then I attach it to the board and I put all of that under weight so that everything can dry solid attached to each other. While that drying is happening, what I usually do then is I go and I prepare my paper and my ink. And that's what I'm going to show you in my next video.